two dogs on a beautiful sunny day. This is the poorest president in the world. Former president of Uruguay, Jose Muchica, donated 90% of his salary not for luxury or wealth, but to help the needy citizens of his country. He lives on a farm in a small house without central water supply, along with his beloved wife and a three-legged dog. He drives an old Volkswagen Beetle and gets treated at a regular hospital, waiting in line like everyone else. During his five-year tenure, he managed to have the unemployment rate in the country. Once, Jose Muchica refused a private jet and instead bought a rescue helicopter with the latest medical equipment for his people. After leaving office, he declined the senator's pension in favor of those in need. He once said, they call me the poorest president, but I don't consider myself poor. The poor are those who work just to live in luxury. They waste their lives uselessly because they are never satisfied. It's a never-ending dissatisfaction. This is the poorest president in the world. Former... You know, guys, this is the type of president I would definitely make, but this is the type of president we need. You know, Trump, Trudeau, Biden, whatever your name is, hin ding dingling, whatever it is, you guys could learn a lot from this guy, man. We, more, we need more people like this in the world. You know, unbelievable how greedy and selfish our government in Canada is. It's, it just, it's despicable. It's disgusting. I mean, Trudeau is basically, and all anybody that voted for him is basically someone that is basically responsible for the murder of so many innocent people in Canada. You know, it's sickening. It really is. But anyways, I just thought that was a positive note. Something that, uh, you know, I, I never knew about this guy. This is just an amazing man, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video. Bye for now.